if you look behind me, you see uh, Mackie Rule Poor Wade and a commercial for the elections that just took place in Senegal. The sitting president lost to a new one and the turnover seems to go very well, very friendly. Well, in Mali, country next door, there's just been a coup d'etat. So democracy in one country can function, in the other country it does not. And that was what my workshop was about, conflict and environment and democracy. I had a former minister of, from Senegal, a very strong woman, who is now working on environmental and migration issues. She gave a clear story about what's going on here and how climate influences people. In the audience, she was helped by a lady from Kenya, a green activist from Kenya, who had a similar experience from the other side of the country. A man from Mauritania who actually said, Minister, thank you, I know you, you came and visit me when I was in a refugee center here in Senegal when I fled from Mauritania. Exciting people. Somebody said that people in Africa think that environment is a luxury problem. But then the whole debate evolved around land and land issues and who owes the land and who owes the water to water the crop on the land. And it turned out environment is not at all a luxury issue. It is life and death. It's about being fed every day. And I think that's why it's so important that the greens, the global greens are in Africa to show that environment and climate is not a luxury issue. In an area like the Sahel here, where it's dry, when there's a shortage of food, it's easy to get in conflict with each other. It might look like a religious conflict, but actually it's about food, about water, about who owes the land. What can Greens do to prevent conflicts? Well, environment is crucial as a conflictual issue, or crucial also to stay away from conflicts. We didn't find the solution, but we did share uh, ideas, very practical ideas about how to take care of the surroundings right around you.